just kind of held you back? It did both. It, the, the more that I pushed away the things that I needed to work on and I ignored them by um, using alcohol and other habits that weren't, that were destructive. Um, yes, because eventually I had to face my shadow. And when I did, like, I remember the first time I, I really just bawled my eyes out, it was at a seminar in Chicago and it was the lightest. I was probably 24 or 25 at this point, And it was the lightest that I felt as a being that I've ever felt in my adult life because of, um, me letting go of recognizing that that shadow was not there for my good and seeing it for what it was. And then, um, that allowed me to bring in instead of hate, bring in love, you know, instead of, cause the shadow would have been hate or, uh, unforgiveness, not being able to forgive. So forgiveness is an illusion because everything is perfect the way it is. So there's, there's literally nothing to forgive. There are no accidents or coincidences in this universe. Uh, everything happens according to divine purpose. But with this, um, like masculine, uh, there could be, so what I see with that, with suppressing your emotions and, um, not being able to feel and just coming from a place of, uh, being overly masculine and, um, being like the head of the household, which is cool. I, I respect that. Um, but coming from this place, it's almost like you're not even acknowledging that you have a feminine side within you. And um, each person, male and female, has masculine and feminine aspects within their being. It doesn't matter if you're male or female. And um, like the reason that I feel that this is this way is because we live multiple lifetimes and like through those multiple lifetimes, we're both males and females. And although we might not perceive it consciously in our subconscious mind, our subconscious knows that we have been both males and females. And so we have these two aspects within us and with not like feeling and with really suppressing your emotions and, and really just coming from this masculine uh, perspective where, so like now when I'm speaking, that is the masculine side of me. That is something um, that I am like projecting. But when I pause, and I listen, that is the feminine side of me. So, so there's these, we have these two aspects that are, um, they're in use constantly, um, within us, without us in nature. Um, it, it goes to the macro and it goes to the big picture. So the micro and the macro picture.